and uh, the Sirius Arena where we are today for the Uber Cup day two of competition. As you can see, Denmark is um, to nothing up against Canada in this uh, team tie, and a win will actually mean that Denmark is assured of a quarterfinal berth, which was the team's goal ahead of this um, tournament, or at least the first goal to qualify from the group stage. This is uh, the matchup in women's single, Lena Christofferson against uh, Rachel Chan, and uh, as you can see, difference in experience as Rachel Chan has only played them 11 senior matches. Here is uh, Lena Christofferson, the reigning Danish champion. And she played only that match in uh, Finland last week where she actually played her opponent of today, Rachel Chan. And here she comes, Rachel Chan. She played all um, the matches for Canada in Suriyaman Cup as uh, Michelle Lee was not in uh, Finland uh, because she was recovering from uh, the injury that now unfortunately forced her to leave Denmark again. And there's a result from the match in uh, Suriyaman Cup. So I think um, you know, Christofferson won the coin toss and um, elected to serve and Rachel Chan just uh, elected to stay on uh, this near side of the court. Twenty-one years of age is um, Lena Christofferson won the uh, World Junior Championship Silver back in um, two thousand and eighteen. She's had uh, the highest ranking ever, gone one up um, from uh, last week. Currently uh, twenty-third. She's got uh, three career titles from uh, eight finals. Coming on just off a win in uh, Denmark Masters in uh, August. Here's her opponent, the only 17-year-old uh, Rachel Chan, turns 18 in um, a good month's time. She's from uh, Markham, 30 kilometers northeast of uh, Toronto downtown, but part of the uh, Greater Toronto area. A hotbed for uh, badminton in uh, that area of uh, Canada. Our umpire, CR Archie, and Tommy Oscariano is uh, keeping an eye on uh, the service hike for us. Rachel Chan won uh, silver at the Pan American Championships, Continental Championships uh, here in 2021. Lost to Zhang uh, Pei Wen in uh, the final 14 and 18, gave her a run for the money. So. Uh, it's definitely um, a player that uh, can play. He's um, looking to become professional and um, uh, is not planning to uh, pursue studies like um, any of the other Canadian uh, players. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's a coach, uh, Jennifer Lee. At least where she's practicing uh, back home at Lee's uh, Academy. So, apart from the Suriyaman Cup and the uh, Panaman Champs Championships, uh, she's also played the Mexico uh, International, lost in the second round there to Beatriz Corrales from uh, Spain. Corrales, who Saw action earlier today as Spain was defeated 3 2 by India, but they won her double. First witness double defeated Sikiredi and uh, Ashwini Konapa, but it was surprised there by uh, the two Spaniards played with 
Uh, so Mendy, but uh, let's turn our attention back to uh, this match between okay, Denmark and Canada. On the right, Canada, represented by Rachel Chan. And on the left, Denmark, represented by Lena Christensen. Denmark, so, love all, play. So match is underway. And uh, so, so, as I mentioned, uh, Rachel Chan played um, all three matches in the uh, Suleiman Cup, lost to Wang Ji Yi, lost to Lino Christofferson, but beat um, Esther Vadoyo, the 16-year-old from uh, Indonesia, and then also lost to uh, Kuset Skaya. A valuable uh, experience for a 17-year-old high-profile uh, com competition. Now that gives 10 points in the fairgrounds and if you go bear hunting and can hit them exactly on your belly. That's gone wide. Lili Christofferson uh, played yesterday. As did um, Rachel Chan. That was yesterday she lost to Wang Ji. That was not in the uh, Sudiman Cup. Uh, and then Christofferson also lost a match yesterday against um, Yun Chi Xuan. Christofferson uh, came out at an amazing pace, but. Um, was neutralized by a calm and collected um, Ion, who played really, really um, great shots, had high, high shot quality on everything she did. So um, I would suspect it's uh, a Danish player who's uh, hungry for um, not revenge against Rachel Chan, but um, revenge against uh, the performance yesterday. match that um, the pace is really really high and Mitchell uh, Chan has got trouble following that. Good shot. Service over. Three, six. Those shots on the front come from below tape. Where we saw yesterday that Christopherson's Malaysian opponent had such great touch. because I felt that um, Rachel Chen was in control a lot of the time. Eventually ended up making uh, an error, maybe lost the patience a little bit. But it was um, 
a little bit similar to some of the rallies we saw yesterday. from uh, the back court, especially in the forehand side. Oh yeah, that's a good shot. succeed with yesterday taking the pace out of the game play uh, with accuracy that's gone long some uh, moments of magic as uh, Jill Clark would have said from uh, Rachel Chen but there's also been uh, a number of um, easy points for Lena Christofferson this time it's uh, landed in So 
And that was something that um, she discussed with her coach yesterday, playing back at the net to uh, avoid becoming uh, pressured by uh, the opponent. Had she played it long, she might have been uh, attacked again. And she did. Here. Finland was uh, 13 and 17. Oh, fantastic save there! What? That's, I, I don't know how she did it. I'm not sure she did herself. And eventually she wins the rally. What a fantastic save that was. Behind the shoulder or something. Chan. The execution lacked a little bit, luckily for um, Lena Christofferson. I'm not totally certain she would have gotten to it. Deception gone wrong, but uh, in order to be a technically strong player, you have to endure the pain of looking completely stupid on court. When you miss things like this, that's the only road towards uh, being a strong technical player to try it out a number of times. I often mention it when we see Tai Su Ying. There's another deception, what a good one. Oi, and then missed the final attack. When we see Tai Su Ying and uh, Kevin Sukumulio, I often think about how many times they've made big, big mistakes in practice and uh, whether their coaches have uh, encouraged them to uh, keep on trying or scolded them for not playing uh, efficient. Lucky net court seals the deal for uh, Lina Christofferson and uh, Symmetry in the scoreline compared to their first meeting. First game to the day in 21 13.
She's actually playing faster than, um, than she's capable of. And sometimes I see that um, it's a lot moving on the red side of the court, so to speak. Moving a lot and moving fast, and that's, that's normally really, really good. Um, but the shot quality um, is important as well. Always fast and furious. Missed it. Second game for Rachel Chen. Going behind the seven one, seven two. drift here in the arena. Hasn't been much yesterday. Yeah. Good 
interception. Nice little uh, flick of the racket there, but also lock because I think it uh, clipped the top of the tape. The shot from uh, the day. That's a well placed clear. Something that you want to do more of if you're Rachel Chan can really play it flat and attacking the straight clear to the backhand of uh, Lena Christofferson. said that I feel sometimes there's too much movement on uh, the right side of the court. Movement that doesn't really lead to an advantage. Sometimes slow down a little bit and make the uh, changes of pace. That's really important that was going away as well. And what a great smash. serve to uh, the uh, sideline and uh, easy point as Chan makes an error. That's well played. Fantastic uh, rush to the net to uh, put it away. And a six point lead for Lina Christophers and then lots of uh, support from her teammates. Behind 7 1, the score is actually uh, 4 all. I'm feeling that um, a lot of things were discussed there. That's what coaches in general have to be careful of not to wanting to uh, do too much in the intervals. It's so easy to uh, disturb if you uh, try to overlook uh, the player's mind. Great deception. She should have uh, read uh, the possibility that um, it's well disguised because she can also play the long to the backhand that the Rachel Channel is on her way to cover. So maybe the solution is to not put the serve at that um, spot compared to the body of Nina uh, Christofferson.
The deception reaches it high. That's Neil uh, Christopherson. from uh, Jesper Hogan. He's in charge of the uh, Danish Euro Cup team and uh, then uh, head coach Ken Jonas and uh, will often uh, help. And some of the matches we'll definitely see him coach uh, Lene Kersfeld I suspect and uh, probably also Boyan uh, Paulsen in the sort of women's double. See that was the uh, other solution for the deception we saw before. This shot, the uh, deception at the net looks like. What a great smash again. Christopherson uh, out of reach for Rachel Chen. services to the sideline from the left service field. Oi, quick, quick uh, movement there from uh, Christopherson. That's really well played. Look how high she's taking it. It actually spins a little bit too high upwards after she touches it because she was so fast on it. to go upwards the shot um, because it gives the opponent extra time. If it goes upwards it has to come the same distance down again. That's a beautiful shot and uh, that means match point opportunities. 11 match points to secure Denmark a berth in the quarterfinal and herself a win in this second women's single. Shot. First one saved, and uh, Chan made it to uh, double figures in the second game as well. Just the air shot though, but um, still wrong. That's gone long. Six game points, six match points to be precise, left for Lena Christofferson. So, 
foul down might be um, appropriate or a challenge or something to just um, get her head straight. Maybe this time. Uh, this time the court was on the Danish side. Good save by Chen. That's gone wide. Wow. the last uh, seven uh, rallies it was uh, a convincing uh, win in my opinion never in doubt uh, so victory in a straight game almost exactly the same scoreline as um, two weeks ago in Finland here it was uh, 21 13 21 16 in exactly uh, half an hour and uh, The difference was actually bigger than um, the scoreline indicates, but um, who will remember that in uh, a couple of days' time? What's important for Christofferson is that um, this rally here sees her and her teammates um, join the knockout draw for the quarterfinals. Good body smash does the trick, and that means that. Uh, Denmark is ahead 3-0 uh, in this um, tie against Canada. Next up after more highlights from uh, this women's singles is women's double between um, Boy and Paulsen against uh, Lai and Choi. Exactly uh, one week's time, we'll have um, found the uh, winners of Thomas and Uber Cup in the uh, Cirrus Arena. 
in the top of the picture here. Now we uh, are going to find the winner of the second women's doubles in the team tie between Denmark and Canada. Denmark has already uh, secured the overall win. They are up 3-0. Um, and um, in the knockout stage, the match would be um, abandoned now. But